Welcome back to Radical and Relevant. Today's reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's home and sat at table. And behold, a woman of the city, who was a sinner, when she learned that Jesus was sitting at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment, and standing behind him, at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears, and wipe them with the hair of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited Jesus saw it, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered, saying to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he answered, what is it, teacher? A certain creditor had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he forgave them both. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, the one I suppose to whom he forgave more. And Jesus said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little, loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Then those who were at table with him began to say among themselves, who is this man who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. What jumps out at you today? Was there a word, a phrase, an idea? What jumps out at me is this, there's this image of the woman, okay? Standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. I want you to hold that image in your mind. And then I want you to ask yourself, last time you received the Eucharist. Did you receive the Eucharist with this much reverence? Weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair, kissed his feet, anointed them with ointment. It's a beautiful image. It's a beautiful image of, of reverence. Think about that next time we receive Jesus in the Eucharist. Have a great day. And remember, be bold, be Catholic.